Hello everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Uh, nice to see you again. In this video tutorial, I will discuss how to do uh, Excel lab of absolute value. Okay. So in this assignment, a uh, student will create a workbook for the director of convention, cultural and leisures which show the revenue estimate for the city-owned venue for convention, right? Activities and their associate parking structures, right? So, the following are the instructions for the Excel assignment. So, please follow the instruction carefully and in the order that you see them below, right? Uh, be sure that student to watch the video uh, in GCF Global tutorial unit number 13 to 24 okay and this particular video is going to address how to do the lab here right so the first one they ask you in cell a1 right type golden groove uh, venue revenue projection then merge the center right so here are the cosmetic right step number one is the cosmetic so you need to uh, do according to the instruction here, right? Change the font to Cambria and then change the font size to 16, okay? And in cell 3, type the year and in cell B3, enter the year 2015 and then from B3 to F3, increment the year by 1 in each cell so that the entire range display will value from 2015 to 2019. So here I have the A3, right? This is the the instruction. Uh, this is the Excel, right? So I'm going to bold this one so you can see that you type A3 year and then you put 2015, 2016 and so on until 2019, all right? So this is the titles, right? Golden Groove venue projection so i'm gonna click here and then drag it to the f merge and center that way you can center this title right so the year here right now now i'm gonna follow the next instruction here uh right in cell a4 type projected growth in the range c4 to f4 and type the following percentage 3.75 3%, 4.5%, and so on, right? So here again, we type this one, right? Projected growth, right? Projected growth from uh, 2016 to 2019, 37.5% up to 4 point, up to 4.25%, right? So here, I just follow the instruction uh, in cell A3, type year and in cell b3 enter the year 2015 then from b3 to f3 increment the year by one all right now we enter the data in the range of a6 and b11 you enter the following data right uh, tax value in column a and uh, numeric value in column b so here i have the information so I'm going to delete this one so you don't get confused, right? So here you're going to type the parking, convention center, golf course, and so on until total venue, uh, until total venue, all right? So I'm going to bold this and under, I'm going to bold this and then I'm going to italize them, right? So you have 2014, 2015, here is the data, right? You need to type this, okay? And after you finish typing, enter the data in 2004, 2015 in column B and enter the text in column A, what's the next one? Uh, in the range of A6 to B11, enter the following data, okay? So now this is where the formula take place, okay? In cell C3, enter the formula B6, multiply by 100% plus C4, right? C4 is the absolute value. That means when we copy the cell to the next one, 
they will use this constant value. Okay. So again, B6 multiplied by 100 plus C4, dollar C, dollar 4, this is called an absolute value. That means if I copy and this formula to the, re the remaining of the cell, it will use this value. Okay. So this is the formula to calculate the projected 2016 increase over 2015, right? So in cell D6 for the year 2017, we can we will construct a similar formula using the previous years, right? So here, so let me put this here. So what's the, from 2015 to 2016 is increased by 37.5%. So the formula is this parking, which is minus B6 multiplied by 100% plus the C4. C4 is this one, right? C4. So here, if I type this manually, equal sign, uh, this cell, which is B6, right? Multiply by, multiply by 100% plus this one, right? Which is the projected growth rate is 37.5%. If you want to make this an absolute value, we press F4, right? The function key on the top of your keyboard, you will see F4. So I'm going to type this F4, boom. Now you can see that the formula become $C$4, right? So I'm going to close this and then enter. Now you find the result of this. I don't know why they don't show you up. So let me find out. Uh, B6, okay, I have, I'm accidentally put B68, this is called B6, okay, so B6 multiplied by 100 plus dollar C dollar 4, enter, boom, there we go, right, and how we make this uh, a comma sign, so we can just put like this, comma, right, because in the financial uh, world, right, in the financial practice, you need to put comma here, right? So it will provide you two decimal digit there. So now you have this formula ready, right? This is also similarly, right? So when I copy this formula, I'm gonna delete this one. Once you have this formula on 2016, right? The rest of this, you just have to do auto fill. Do you see this auto fill? I'm going to put my cursor in the lower right hand and then you drag it over there, right? Now you can see that whenever I copy the formula, it will still use $C and $4, right? So what's the next formula, right? The next formula is equal sign, which is this one, uh, multiply by, multiply by 100% plus 100% plus uh, this one, right? Which is D. Because from 2016 to 2017, the formula is increased by 3%. So I'm going to click this one and press F4, right? You can type it manually, but in Excel, they give you a function called F4. It makes them an absolute value. So you close this and then enter. Boom, there we go. Now you see that from 2016 and 2018, from 2016 and 2017, here is the parking revenue. I'm just going to make this dull comma again as the standard in the financial. And then I'm going to drag this, right? Out of field. This is called out of field. Put your cursor in the lower right corner and then you drag it. Boom, like that. All right? Okay, here. Normally, this one is just comma, so I'm going to format it like that. Now, you will see the first row. The first row is usually dollar sign, so you put that, right? Now, how are we going to calculate the revenue? The revenue is very simple. The revenue is the formula. Let me see. So, you need to follow the instruction here is on the paper, right? The formula for the sum is here, right? Let me show it to you. Uh, the formula of the sum here, the total, right? In cell A12, type the total value and then 
in cell B12 to F12, auto sum the value in column B through F, right? So I'm going to use this how we calculate uh, the total value for 2015. You are going to use this one, okay? Auto sum, right? The sum of what? The sum of all of this value, right? So I'm going to click enter. Boom, there we go. So now I have all the four. Now I have this one, right? So now I have this formula. The rest of this, I can just drag it over there, right? So now you will see, okay? So now you can continue with 2018 with 4.5% and 2019 uh, with the increase of 4.25%, right? So he, here is the formula. Uh, uh, in the past few minutes, I just show you the formula how to use that, right? Uh, so please read this instruction carefully on the blackboard, right? And then uh, I just made a video so students uh, have a good understanding uh, how to create this Excel app. Equal sign, uh, the previous year, which is 2017, uh, multiply by 100% plus this one, right? Make it absolute value, press F4, and then close that. Boom, there we go. So now you see that the revenue for 2018 is for uh, 1.6. Uh, 61,743 uh, million dollars, right? So if I copy this formula, autofill it, boom, there we go, right? And the sum, you can just extend it like this, okay? So if you press control, if you press control plus the tilde sign, right? Which is above the tab line. If you press this control and tilde at the same time, look at this. Control and tilde. Yeah. Here you will see the formula. I like to give you like a red color so that you know. Or green maybe, right? Blue probably better. Here. Here is the blue, right? Control and tilde again is go back to this one, right? So hopefully that this video is informative to you, right? Uh... One more thing, I think. I need to show you how to do this one, right? So this one, you have to highlight this, control key, and then the total value here, right? Go to insert, and then line chart here, right? Chart. Chart here. You can use this one, I believe, right? Okay. This one, okay. So let me show it to you again. Uh, this one, control, and this one, right? Insert, chart, and then line here. I don't know why they give you a thousand here. Uh, let me see. Here, total venue, uh, okay. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to highlight here, right, and control here, the line. Okay, that's not good. So let me see if I can do like this, control and this one, right, line. Is this better? Okay, let me pause the video first here. So let me find out, troubleshoot this. Okay, so let me continue. Uh, this is how you do the chart, all right? So you highlight this one, the 2015 through 2019, and then control key, and then you highlight this total venue, right? So you highlight 2015 to 2019, and then press control key, and highlight this one, okay? The total for all venue, okay, on row number 12, okay, and then you go to insert and then choose a line. Do you see this line? 2D line, okay, 
I'm gonna select this and then we're gonna format this one. Do you see this at the bottom? Here, I'm going to do a right click and then select data, right? Your X axis is gonna be the year. So I'm gonna click edit and then this one, right? We're gonna highlight this for the years and click OK, boom. Now you see that, right? Also the series number two, you uncheck this, okay? And click OK, boom, there we go. Now you see that the chart is over there, okay? So you can change this one, right? And then put this as maybe, I don't know what the instruction it says there. Let me see what do they want here. So on the column, you get the you get to name this as total for all venue, right? So the chart we just gonna put here golden revenue, okay? Golden revenue, all right? This is a typo here. It's supposed to be golden groove revenue, okay? So that is how you do this Excel labs, okay? The series here, we can just put the uh, total venue here. We can change this, select data type. We can just use this one, use total venue. Oh, no, no, no. I think I make a mistake. I just leave them alone, okay? So I just put it like that. Uh, format legend that's fine I think I just gonna leave this alone okay I think we just leave them alone like this okay all right so this is how you do the spreadsheet for this lab okay uh, it's called uh, what you call this uh, golden groove venue revenue projection Golden Groove Venue Revenue Revenue Projection That is the correct word And then you need to save this, right? So in this video, I just show you how to do the summary uh, I just show you the main idea of a golden venue and then you can submit this right uh, the cosmetic I would let it to you to do this okay just follow the instruction but that is the main part of the the video tutorial is to create this uh, spreadsheet control tilde you just have to finish the rest of that for column 2019 thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day or week.